Oh, ladies and gentlemen, here we go with our next bout of the evening. This one is being brought to you by our friends at bookmaker.eu. And it's set for three five-minute rounds in the XMMA welterweight division. When the action starts inside the cage, our referee, Mr. Andrew Glenn. And now, let's meet our fighters. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Standing 5 feet 11 and a half inches tall and weighing in at 170.4 pounds. Tonight, this former Olympian makes his professional debut. Representing MMA Masters and fighting out of Miami, Florida. Please welcome Mahmoud Sibi. His opponent fighting out of the red corner. Standing five feet four and weighing in at 167.6 pounds. Tonight, he brings to the ring a professional record, zero wins and one defeat. Representing Brunton's MMA and fitness and fighting out of Wilmington, North Carolina. Please welcome Jarrell Murray. We are scheduled for three five-minute rounds once again here in the prelims. This fight at 170 pounds. That's yes. a weight class you're familiar with. Yeah, for me, I like uh, a couple of these fights have been here. Um, talking with uh, Amut, he's very interested in not only winning, but getting the finish in this fight. He wants to make sure this doesn't go the distance. Well, he also talked about he, you know, he, wants, to, he wants to show his other, his other skills. He wants to show some striking, some, some submissions. He's wrestled all his life, so he wants to try something else out. Yeah, and that's one thing he was pretty adamant about the fact. Oh, suplex. The, the, fact, the fact that you know, he, he's not just a wrestler. He does train all aspects of the, of the, of the game. Well, yesterday he told us he can suplex anybody in the world in his weight class, and he already showed a suplex to his opponent right away. Throw some big right hands from the back. Heavy, heavy. There's those suplexes we talked about. And he's got a, this is a great learning experience for him right now. He's got to calm down a little bit and pick his shots a little bit better. He's a little too eager right now. Well, that's pretty common for people's first fight, especially they have a lot of pressure on him, right? 100%, but that's why this is a good learning experience for him to go out there and learn. He can go back and watch the tape and say, I need to calm down a little bit and pick my shots instead of just throw with ag you know, aggression. Will you go in there and tell him to slow down? I'll, I'll talk to you I about don't it. think I will. <laughs> we'll talk afterwards. Mahmoud slowing the action down here, controlling the position. And, and that's a good thing for your corner to be telling you, relax, breathe, give me two breaths. Okay, now we go. And he's in a position where he could transition possibly to a head and arm choke, just like we saw in the last fight Tyler Ray did, correct? Absolutely. I think right now he, he's just kind of trying to get a good feel for what's going on. He's at, he, he knows exactly where he's at and what he wants to do. He's just taking his time, being patient, probably trying to get a little bit of ring time. Yes. Mahmoud, the big hammer strikes right there. And those the, are powerful. Yeah, and the referee's right there taking a good look. He wants to see if he needs to step in and stop the action. Not even two minutes in the fight, and the referee's just about to stop it, I think. Well, because he, he just covered that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it, Chris. Mahmoud is excited. His first victory in the sport of mixed martial arts. He's had so many in wrestling, but this is the first in mixed martial arts, and I bet it's the first of many. It looked like he kind of... He might have hurt himself I, celebrating, I, I huh? I think he did. I think he, he might have hurt his knee a little bit or something. So, got to be careful with that. And, you know, there is a history of uh, fighters and wrestlers in particular. Mark Coleman, I know, he blew his ACL out after a fight. Remember at Pride? Yeah, that, that's definitely a Mark Coleman move. <laughs> uh, yeah, he looks like he hurt himself a little bit right here. He's kind of walking. I don't know. I hope it's not his knee. Yeah, he's, he's sitting down now. He, yeah, he is injured. Uh, Jarrell Murray get, getting looked at by the member of the, the medical team here. I think he's going to be just fine. He just got roughed up a little bit, took some shots, he, and he wasn't intelligently defending himself. And that's the number one rule and the most important thing. Now, that's why the referee's really there, is to protect the fighters. Let's take a look at a replay of some of those shots that he took. And here it is. You have, you see, he has his back right now. The suplex, beautifully done right there. Yeah, I think he was accurate when he said he could probably get anybody at his weight class to get this move. He does it again. I believe his second I, I, one. He told us he could suplex anyone. I, I believe him. I mean, luckily for you and me, we're not in that weight class anymore. So we're <laughs> <not> the, we're, <laughs> well, I got. Uh, we're, we're relentless. I'm, relentless I'm right a week now. post surgery, so I got a good excuse. Relentless right now with his, his ground and pound. He's just looking to eat his, uh, throw as many punches as he can. Let's see if we can take a look at the replay of. Uh, 
I want to see that. hurting himself. Yeah, I want to see that <laughs> jump. I hope, hopefully the truck might be able to see that. Uh, yeah, I don't like it because it looks like they're looking at his knee right now. Man, that is so unfortunate. And uh, big respect to Jarrell Murray for getting in there at all with an Olympian. I mean, that's a tall order of anybody. I mean, even somebody who has 10, 15 fights, they say, hey, you want to fight a, you know, an Olympic wrestler who almost got a medal. Yeah. You got you to gotta have uh, some grit and determination. Absolutely. Now, we don't need the judges for this fight either because we got another finish, this time by TKO. Mahmoud still celebrating. He's got both his flags. And he's a really, really proud citizen of the U.S. He has his home in Egypt, but he says this is his new home. Yeah, or sorry, he has his land in Egypt, but the U.S. is his new home. And for all of the official particulars, let's turn it up to the ring. Christopher James has all details. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee, Andrew Glenn, steps in and calls a halt to the bout at one minute and 52 seconds of round number one, declaring your winner by T.K.O. Mahmoud Sibi. Congratulating his opponent, and I think we have Chris Lytle up there to speak to Mahmoud Sebi.